Hey guys, how's it going? This is Lou from Adrift in Tokyo. I've got some great news. Today is... What day is today? Um, Tuesday, I think. Yeah, yeah, Tuesday. It's Tuesday here in Tokyo, and I have just closed on my apartment. I can't believe I am done with the process. Well, done in terms of securing the... the the process. It went pretty well, it took a very long time, but I finally have gotten my apartment and I'm ready to move in. Um, I've got the keys over here. Hold on one second. Uh, where are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got the keys. Here they are. I have some proof. Um, it says goal on it. I don't, know, I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's focusing or not. It says goal. So the numbers on it. I haven't filled up my name tag yet. But uh, I'll be taking tons of pictures. My actual, my mailbox actually says Luisu Yandori. So it's written in katakana script, which is the American, uh, Romanized version of Japanese. So that's kind of cool. It doesn't say Louis Yandoli in, in, in script. It says Luisu Yandoli. So that's awesome. So I got my apartment, but uh, a little bit about the process. So we went to the uh, Century 21 in Nakano with my real estate agent uh, Nomura-san and you gotta know a little bit about me first before uh, I went into this process so how did this work so N N Nomura-san sends me an email saying hey Lou here's the contract and a PDF document you have to pay this much and here's the breakdown and so the, the amount that was this much is quite a bit. I think a couple of thousand uh, uh, dollars. And he says, transfer to this bank account. And I'm like, hey, Nomura-san, in the U.S., what we normally do is we get a certified bank check, go to closing or go to whatever, and hand over the check in person so that, you know, there's some safety that we know we're paying for something as opposed to just transferring to... I had to transfer this before the actual signing. And so he's like, oh, no, no, that's, that's how we do it in Japan. Don't worry, the bank that you're transferring it to is a special holding bank. And so they'll hold the money, and if the contract doesn't go through, it'll be remitted back to you. I think that's the right word. It's given back to you. And if you do follow through on the contract, that intermediary uh, bank will send the money to the owner. I'm like, okay, okay, that sounds, that sounds logical. But then, Sharon, uh, my wife and I, we watched a ton of J-dramas or Japanese drama shows and there's one show in particular call, called Kurosagi, which is like black swindler. And swindler is, is in the sense of these people swindle other people out of money in Japan. It's a really good TV show, but the funny part is this, <laughs> my experience felt very similar to this Kurosagi uh, show where it's like, well, I'm starting to think, I'm like, is this guy, Nomura-san, trying to swindle me? Has he, did he make up this bank account? What, what reassurance do I have? Am I going to transfer this money into his account, lose $5,000, and then, and then um, you'll never hear from him again? And I'll be $5,000 in a hole, still at Hitotsubashi, still without a place to live, and now I've just you know, lost uh, all this money. And so, um, I'm like, okay, so I gotta be careful here. Um, I mentioned the, uh, the amount, by the way. Uh, that includes a lot of stuff. It includes multiple months of deposit, which is a requirement in Japan. It, it, it um, includes a couple of months worth of rent. And so, they're kind of very serious about um, security, so whatever. So I'm just like, this guy's gonna take my money. <laughs> and then I'm like, ah, you know, I... I gotta, you know, let go of my Brooklyn attitude at some point and, you know, trust the system. And luckily, he didn't take my money. But I'm thinking about this. I'm like, he's gonna, he's gonna take my money. He's gonna take my money. This is gonna, this is not gonna be good. But uh, anyway, we sit down. We go to Nakano. Um, the bank transfer. He meets me there. He didn't leave me out to dry. He meets me there. He says the transfer was good. Uh, looks good. So all we have to do is go to Century 21 and sign the paperwork. It should take about an hour and a half. I'm like, an hour and a half? I've sent them the money. They got the contract written up. Don't I just have to sign a few things? Well, they got a ton of papers down here. Um, what you really have to do is go through the entire contract. And by Japanese law, they're required to read it to you. I think they're required to read every single line of the contract. And so, you know, 
this is the English version of the contract. You know, like um, real estate company involved. Um, uh, let's see what else is important. Uh, am I in a tsunami? Tsunami uh, warning zone? No. Am I in a uh, landslide disaster zone? No. Um, you know, things I shouldn't do in the apartment. Uh, don't play piano. Um, don't. I can't have a pet. Sorry, Sharon. Um, you know, renewal. I, I mean, this is the English version, but they had to go through the guy spoke in Japanese to the real estate agent, and then he pointed to me where in the contract um, they were talking about, and they were saying, "This is what this line means. This is what that line means." And they went through it one by one by one, and so that took a long time. And so we went through that, and then we went through. You no, know, did you? This is the. Um, is there any? I'm trying to see if there's any sensitive information on here. No. This is the, did you, let me let that focus, did you receive the key? Um, you notice that, you remember the word goal down here? See the word goal? So there's, uh, what is it, two keys and uh, the word goal. And so, did you receive it? Yes. And then you have to explain what all this stuff means. Um, I've got internet procedures. This is, oh, the, uh, fire insurance. Did I, you know, I have to sign that, you know, uh, and understand what fire insurance is. I understand it's important. Um, another fire insurance. N not another one, but this is another thing I had to sign for fire insurance. Um, this one is good. This one is good. I'll let the pictures speak for themselves. So there's a guy getting hit by something. Looks like an explosion. That's a fire. Um, somebody made a mess. Uh, something got thrown into the window. So, this is a living guard. Uh, what is this? Atara Don't know what that means, but uh, living guard. So that's that's good. Yeah, there's a lot of other stuff in here. If there's water leaks. People drop stuff in your house. Oh man, this one's not good. Your, your, if your furniture spontaneously combusts, I mean that can happen in Japan. So that's not good. Um, so yeah, living guard. That was that was how to figure out what that was. Um, so we signed that. Um, here's the actual contract. This is what they went through line by line. You're, so you're saying like, oh, it's it's only two pages. You know, when you fold it like this, it's not that bad. But actually. This son, son of a bitch, this one, it's line by line. So, you know, he read this, and then he said, you know, this is like the, uh, I think this is the name of something. So he read that, you know, is, you know, is this your name? So, you know, this, I, I can read RC, right? Hopefully you can see the RC there, reinforced concrete. So he talks about the building. He talks about, you know, do you have TV access? Do you have... Uh, shower, do you have separate showers and separate toilet? So you went through it line by line by line. Japanese first, English second. And so, you know, here are all the restrictions. And so I had to sign it at the bottom, go through that. This is 24 hour support. And so we went through all that. We um, sort of bowed. I, I sort of bowed. I don't think I did it right, but um, he was happy. They smiled. We walked, we got back, I got the keys. Um, and there's a few other things I need to follow up on, like stuff like uh, I got the, the bike, there's a bike parking area, and so they gotta send me a sticker to put on a bike to park it down there, or they'll tow the bike, or whatever they, whatever they do in Japan. Um, probably they'll um, take it and you know hold it somewhere, and then if I don't pick it up, they'll charge me some fee, or I don't know, publicly humiliate me, something like that. So, uh, we went over to the apartment, we checked it out, everything looks good, I'm on the third floor, um, I'll have a lot of pictures and videos once I get set up over there, but you have to understand, I can't just walk into this place, um, there's a few things restricting me. Um, one, right off the bat, the gas is not hooked up yet, gas is pretty important in Japan, they want you to know how to work it, I mean, I do want to know how to work it too. So, what does that mean? I can't get hot water, I can't cook. The cooking's not a big deal, but the hot water is. I, I can't take a shower without hot water, and you know, silly things like that. So, I had a schedule appointment with the gas guy. Um, minor things. I got, I got pretty nice windows in terms of like um, visibility, and so 
there are no curtains on the windows. I gotta buy some affordable curtains in. Don't worry, Cher, you know, you'll be able to design these, but I gotta get temporary ones so I can you know, actually get some sleep eventually. And then I gotta do other silly stuff like uh, buy a temporary uh, futon, which is a, a bed. Uh, it's not the futon that you think of in the US, it's just a, a cushy bed uh, surface on the floor. It, it's like a sleeping bag, but better. And so I gotta buy one of those so I can sleep on it temporarily while I order stuff from Ikea or from wherever. And then slowly bring stuff in. But I just can't do this overnight. Uh, Tokyo is not set up to let me just hop in a cab with all my stuff and say, all right, see, see you later guys, I'm gonna go move into Nakano because cabs are expensive, trains are crowded, and I can't just move everything at once. So I'm slowly bringing stuff over and then hopefully this weekend I can, um, I can get everything else in there because the weekend's much easier to travel and so that's when I expect to get a lot more stuff so basically my commute is going to be sh is going to be uh, instead of an hour and like 15 minutes my commute from Nakano to school is going to be like 20 minutes so I'm really excited about that cannot wait for that to happen so yeah that's the biggest update um, one quick little aside when I was getting back from the station um, in Awabadai here uh, I was like, you know, I've had a pretty rough day, I gotta get a beer to celebrate, and so the bus drops me off, I walk over to the convenience store, and as I'm walking home, uh, the guy, um, there's tons of people walking with me, but one of the guys walking with me, he's like a middle-aged man, probably in his 40s, 45 or so, and so I've got my beer in my bag, and I'm like, I can wait until I get home, but apparently... Uh, maybe he had a rough day because he just cracked that sucker open and on this walk home for like seven minutes he just pounds the beer just drinks the whole thing and I'm like man like that, that's awesome uh, it's a Tuesday night here in uh, in Tokyo um, it had to be 9 p.m. at night so it was probably the right time to drink but um, he couldn't wait until he got home he picked up his beer he uh, cracked it open in public I mean, it's night. It's nighttime, Adam. So it's, you don't have to worry too much. And you just drink it on the way home. You gotta love Japan. You gotta love Tokyo. And so I'm just like, yeah, I, I, I have something to learn here. And so um, I don't know if I'll ever do that, but that was that was pretty cool. So anyway, um, stay tuned for more videos. I'm definitely gonna be video, shooting video around Nakano. I'm already very excited about the station. It's so different um, in terms of other places. Very populated. Very dense. But that means a lot of restaurants, a lot of cafes, a lot of things to do. And so I'll probably have a lot, you know, a lot of stories as well. So I'm definitely happy. Work is kicking my butt in terms of just pure, I mean, I'm tired right now. And so I'm ready to get some sleep. But I had to get in the camera and capture, you know, the moment and whatnot. So anyway, uh, stay tuned. I'll have some more videos up shortly. And send some questions. I'm going to be talking about all sorts of stuff. But anyway. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later.